Hello, hello, and welcome to episode 12 of Disc Plays The Long Dark on Navigate on the Phyllis Navigator update. And we are once again in Milton House, but today we are going to be leaving this area. So, before we do anything, um, obviously I had some issues with the locations of places um, and them not appearing. So, I've had a look around and it says that I've discovered all these areas on here um, but I don't know if they've registered on my map they are not registered which I will show you in a moment um, as you can see here I would have expected to see the crash plane on there but it does not appear um, so Obviously, the, the, this is what we call the um, icon location, but there should be a trigger as well that comes up with just the text, which you can see here, radio tower, arch, woodlot, cave, etc, etc. Um, there's another one down here, the Rocky Falls something, which I have not found. Obviously, I need to go through this way as well. So, we were going to go to Fall on Muskeg, um, however... I'm thinking I might actually go down this way. I can't remember what way you come out when you go this way. Um, let me have a look on the map. Uh, we are currently in Mountain Town. I think it takes you directly to Mystery Lake. Um, I think I might do that first. Um, and then go to... Well, mind you, I, I kind of want to go to Broken Railroad as well. I could go to... I could go to yeah, actually, let's stick with our original plan, plan Fall on Muskeg, and we'll go up to Broken Railroad, and then we'll come back, map Fall on Muskeg, because I can come back this way, I can come back up through here when we return. Okay, I think that'd be better than returning through this way, because obviously we will have to come back to this area at some point because we want to go to here and this will lead us to the hushed river valley or hush river valley so we are going to move on because i've i've tried my darndest to get these to trigger um and i don't know why they're not so let's collect all of our stuff we're not going to collect everything obviously we're going to collect our pry bar we're going to collect our revolver ammunition let me just have a look in here we do have some boots which we are going to drop off so transfer those. I don't want any other clothes though. So we want we got one flare left. So we're gonna take a couple of flares. Um I don't think we're gonna we're gonna leave everything else here in regards to tools. Flares we're gonna take. Um I'm not gonna take any oil lantern fuel not at least not that anyway because that's way too heavy I will take a set of tools and just in case we don't find any lantern fuel immediately I'm gonna take a little bit of that Ooh. Um, matches we got loads of but again just in case I'm gonna take that many we've also got a fire striker so we've got 40 we've got plenty of matches we should be fine for matches medicine I'm gonna leave here I'm gonna take another pack of antibiotics though with us because we've only got the one there um, and I'm probably gonna leave one set of well no I'm gonna keep the painkillers actually um, no food in here obviously tools uh, and cloth just in case we get some ripped clothing, I'm going to take a bit and that is all. I do want to take a rabbit hide. And I, well, do I actually? Because that's going to attract wolves. In fact, I might just fix my. I know. I know my. Um, well, how badly damaged is it? 82. I might just fix it quickly. It's going to take 27 minutes. Let's just fix it quickly. Hopefully it works. Good. Um, deer pads. I could probably fix them as well. That's 
Yeah, I might just go ahead and fix these as well. So, oh, I can't because I don't have... Oh, I do have one. I'm not going to take any of the um, saplings with me either, I don't think. I can find many more of those, hopefully. Um, wherever you move to. Thank God that worked. Alright, and the wolf coat I'm not going to fix because that's pretty okay. Alright, so that's all of that done. Let's go ahead and drink some water. I'm going to have to take a fair bit of water with us. The rest of what we are carrying is going to be food. Like I said, I don't think because I can't see me making these for a while anyway. Um, and the bow is only one cured. Well, I might. I could make the bow now, I suppose. No, I'm not going to make the bow now. I'm going to take that cured sapling with us so I can. No, I'm not. You know, I don't know if I really need to. Oh, let's take it. Let's see how much space we've got left. Um, lantern. To take, obviously. I'm not going to take any fuel with us. I'm not going to take a second pot with us. I think one pot's going to be okay for now. Um, now, I don't want to be overburdened, obviously, because we're going to have to go down some cliffs later. So, food, I want to take most of all of this, to be honest. I'm not going to take it all. Okay, I'll take that power bar and this, because that's running out. Let's put back a couple of these in. In fact, we can eat this one now. Um drop that torch, don't need that torch. That obviously... Um, let's go ahead and eat this. So we've got plenty of food. I think that is going to be enough. Um, we can always drink a bit of water to knock ourselves down a little bit. So, let's go. We're, there is a piece of meat out here that I'm going to take with us. Obviously, that's going to weigh us down somewhat. Just, just before I go, let me just double check. I haven't left anything important here. I'm not going to take this sapling with us. I can easily find and cure another sapling. And we've got guns, so I don't really need to take that. Um... I think that is everything. I don't think there's anything left here that I vitally, vitally need. Yeah. Yeah, we can cure hides. We can do all the business later when we return, when we uh, get settled down in our new place. We're going to find some other guts and things. It's always good to leave some stuff behind, you know. Um... So let's get out of here. The day is good. The day is clear. And we are going to go to fall on that basket. Well, no wolves. So that's <laughs> something. Yeah, I could go down the other way. Um, and I think that takes you to Mystery Lake, but I actually quite fancy because it's been a long time since I've been to the Broken Railroad Road. So I think we're going to go to there first. Plus it's a bit further out of the way. Mystery Lake sits kind of central, the same as um, oh God, the same as Pleasant Valley. I don't know where that walk was. Here. But as usual, I cannot see him. So what we're going to do is cut through uh, this house. Because I do believe that you can do that. Oh, there's a rabbit there, actually. Never mind. I think the wolf will go after the rabbit. 
There's also a lot of wolves here. There were. You saw one of my episodes. I got I got attacked on one of these logs here. Yeah, there he goes. Gone for the wolf. Yep. <laughs> yeah, the rabbit's gone for the wolf. No, I mean the uh, the wolf has gone for the rabbit. That is what I meant. Um, I know also that I left, you probably noticed that I left a hell of a lot of cat house thoughts back there. I'm not worried. Again, it's always good to leave some food. Uh, some food to come back to. And I'm, if I'm correct in thinking, cat house thoughts do not deteriorate when you store them. That's why I kind of wanted to take all the uh, other food. Now, I haven't taken all the other food, obviously. I've taken what I could carry. Because I do know that um, I, I, I'm aware that I've got to climb down these cliffs. Down the ropes. And that's going to take some energy. And as your energy drops, your carrying capacity drops. You don't want to be dropping too behind you can, and as I've done many times before, walk to the edge of the um, cliff, just throw it down, and usually it will land at the bottom and that's fine, but it is a little bit risky doing that, because Lovely day. The weather is very, very nice today. I just wanted to see if that was the trigger there. Somewhere is the trigger. Yeah, I'm not absolutely sure where it is. The trigger location I'm talking about is here. Yes, it is when I climb down. So full on muskeg and on to Broken Railway. Uh, like I said, I'm wholly unfamiliar with Broken Railway Road. I do remember the house there. I don't remember how to get to the house. Yeah, so I'm too comfortable already. So I've got to get rid of... Well, actually, that might just be a sip of water. A sip of water might actually just get rid of that. Nope. What about eating a tiny bit of this meat? somewhere so maybe it's the waterfall actually about it yeah, I'm sure. have a look anyway go have a look around there see if that triggers uh, like I said guys if you have any idea as to why they aren't triggering then I would greatly appreciate appreciative of, of your comments and guidance might not be able to climb down this one because I've just been okay. yeah, right. So this time it's not going to be enough for me to just be doing something. So, we step right to the edge. So I left a bunch of wood down there before. And we drop... Uh, I'm probably least worried about... No, let's just drop this. <laughs> Should have probably picked something else to throw down. Yeah, I see the hatchet there it is. Did a little trick there for you guys if you didn't know about that. I'm sure most of you did know about that though. 
a bit dodgy. I have fallen before doing that. So we can pick up all this wood. We're probably going to be making a fire later when we get a bit sleepy. And then we're going to and then this one there. Um, which we are getting a bit sleepy now. I'm going to push on through. So this is the basin, this will trigger the basin. See how we get on with the other areas. Uh, it could be, it could just be bugs in the game. Might be something I'm doing wrong. We're probably going to go to the hermit's cabin. Have a bit of a rest there overnight. Head off again in the, the morning. Go with this heavy wood, which I want to drop or not drop, but use it. Got a bit of meat that we can also eat. And that will also reduce some of our weight down a bit. So wherever we uh, where, uh, wherever we end up, obviously we will kind of be starting a new, but like I said, I've been a long time in Milton, but a lot of that time was gathering furs and coats and crafting. Um, the crafting now really, all I need to craft now is a bear coat, a bear sleeping bag and the moose satchel and coat, um, possibly. And that would be it really. So, and I don't expect that obviously I'll be doing too much of those. Of, so I'm hoping that it will speed up as I just spend more days in and around walking around and, and surveying areas. I'm pretty sure it will speed up. Hey, look at this, more cat cells, lovely. Oh, wrong button. You never have too many cat tail stalks until they start wearing me down. The fallen musk egg has got loads of them. So I'm not going to be I'm going to be picking all of the ones up and falling musket. Like I said, we're probably just going to enter and head straight for the uh, broken rail road map. I don't think we need any more cattails. I know there's some, probably. Okay, let's get these two. His extra two are an additional 600 calories. Oh, it's two there. Sorry, not 600, 300 calories. Okay, let's get those as well. See, it's addicting. This, this could be an entire game on its own, you know. Just cattail collecting. I see a wolf out there. Okay, definitely no more cattails. We have got a lot. And if I see another one, I'm just going to keep on walking. I'm not liking that wolf being there. 
I suppose there's not a fishing hut out here as well actually. Be a good place for a fishing hut. There's two walls over there, that could pose a problem. So we're not obviously gonna go over there now. Oh man. Oh man. I wonder how many of you were telling me before about this. This I didn't even look in there last time. Not much in there, but still. Something. Right, that's that banged up pork and beans, which I'm not going to eat because it's 12%. And um, nothing else in here, I know. Alrighty, so. I'm getting tired. Let's, yeah, I know you're getting tired. I'm going to pick up. I'm going to leave one of these cans here. Yep, let's start a fire. Um, we've got plenty of matches. But I'm going to use the. Uh, I'm not going to use that. Twigs? Do I have twigs? Thank you. Or sticks? Yeah, I'm going to use the magnifying glass because it's not often I get to use that. Come on, I could be fire. using it a lot more, but I just forget. <laughs> I've got to get so many matches and stuff that you just end up using them. Um, I think I've got plenty of water. I don't think I need to boil anymore. I will. I might very well boil some more though. Because we are going to have... I thought I had a lot more firewood than that. I do, I have four. Okay, good. I was going to say, because I'm going to have to have this fire going through the night. Right, so first of all, let's cook up some... What do I want to cook up? Water. Can't find water there. Um, I'm gonna keep that recycling can there. Two liters is definitely gonna be enough. We've already got, we've already got a whole bunch. We've got two and a half liters already. Um, two hours. I'm just gonna chuck the rest of this wood in there. We've got a nine-hour fire. We are going to sleep here, and then we're going to head out in the morning. Drink that. We're not get to take our pot. And then we're going to sleep. Hopefully, we don't wake up frozen. If you get hypothermia, you don't wake up normally. You just fall into the dark. <laughs> Oh, that silence then really had me worried. No, I, uh, I always do that. <laughs> I always, always do that. I wish there was a check, a check thing. Are you sure? That only appears after you've just slept. All right, so we're going to go ahead and drink that. Going to go ahead and finish this up. So we're down. We're still overweight a little bit. Um, but that's okay, I think. Um, we can still eat a bit more food, I, s I guess. But there's not really much to eat. So, it's the water that's weighing us down, isn't it? And, well, whatever. Oh, that wind is slowing me down. Yeah, there's one wolf there, there's two wolves there. I was hoping after that rest. Did I pick up my bed wrong? Yes. And, and the uh, pot. Not really leaving anything behind here. I've got three flares, which I'm probably going to have to use one in a minute. This wind is uh, mightily mighty strong. Doesn't sound strong, but it is slowing me down. If I can get up here and around, then I might be able to sneak over that hill without attracting their attention. But these are all very big ifs. 
I'm on. Yes, we're going to shoot. Cool. That was uh, well avoided, I think. To be honest, even if you do break a leg, that was well worth avoiding those wolves for. Oops, oh, oh, slow down. Yeah, there we go. Alright. We are clear of one danger. We now have to navigate across. Fall on mustard. Um, I'll tell you what I did forget to get, and that was the charcoal out of that fire. That's a shame. I could have done with that charcoal from mapping. Damn. How many do we have? I'm not obviously going to go back. We've got seven. So we can do a little bit. I'll probably do that going over towards. Uh, going over towards exit for um, what area am I thinking of now have I done this part no I haven't done any of this I thought I mapped some of this already I'm not going to be able to do any mapping yet am I so if we maybe just sleep for a little bit Drink a bit more water. We sleep for maybe another three hours, I hope. The sun's coming up. Can we now map? No, nope, still can't. Right, so gonna have to wait for a bit only because I don't think I'm gonna be coming back up this way so usually I would not really worry about doing this that's gonna be enough now surely yeah. Good way. still not okay more Okay, uh, of course, and now it's foggy. There we go. Alright. So I had done this, so I didn't need to. Why did it not show up on the map the first time? That was a bit weird. There's certainly still a lot of weird little bugs in this game that you'd have thought would have been um, addressed by now. But never mind. Looks like a new day uh, is what dawning. else have we got here to eat? Uh, let's go ahead and eat these. 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 Save that power bar. This is the best, I think this is the best weight ratio to calories that you can get in the game, the energy bar, I think. I'd have to check because there is also the condensed milk and peanut butter, I think. But I, I, th I still think this is better. Basically, if you look, if you think about the... Um, <laughs> really? <laughs> Who's going to... Well, guess to climb up it, right? Not to climb down it. If you think of the MRE, the military grade food, um, that is 1700, see, there you go, right, see, that has logged as me being there, but in Mountain Town, which these, I went through that, I went over it, I, I, I did everything, nothing came up, I've been around that plane, nothing came up, I've been around here several times, nothing come up, and around here several times, nothing come up, but this one, that is a trigger location, it just triggered, I just went through it, anyway, 
Oh, there's a moose. Oh, this might be an opportunity to not miss, because I can grab that moose. If I can grab that moose. I'm not worried about the meat, I don't care about the meat. I care about the hide. If I can sneak up behind it. Mr. Moose, and I do apologise. Um, I don't even need the gut. I'm going to take two guts with me, and I'm going to take a kilo of meat to cook later. Um, let's use the knife for this. 51 minutes. Yeah, I think that's it. I really just want the hide. I know it's a massive waste of meat, and I do apologise, Mr. Not sure I'm Mr. Uh, Moose. But oh crap! Now, I'm not 100% familiar with this map. Temperature's okay though, and we, we, we can survive out here. So, as soon as I pick up the railway, I will know where we are. So we're going to have to come back and map all this area anyway. I do feel bad about leaving that moose like that. Um, but... The hide is it, 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 valuable. I can either make a coat, which I probably won't. I'll make the satchel because the satchel will give us an extra five kilograms of carrying capacity. This fog is not good. Could be worse. I could be in a blizzard. Right, so let me try and get my bearings a minute. So it keeps starting me all the way down there. So I think south of here. So I need to be going in this direction, don't I? I'm not going to run, I'm not going to panic. Just, I'm okay at the moment, there's no rush. As soon as I pick up the railway, then... In fact, actually, I don't even... Yeah, I think just follow this, this uh, rock face. And then it should be to the right. The fog's a little bit annoying. Because I could have been mapping. I don't think I can carry a mapping now. Uh, too, too low visibility. Um, so that was two shots to bring that moose down, but I'm <laughs> glad I hit with the second one because he was he was charging right at me. That could have been very dangerous. You can bring a moose down with one shot. You got a, I was possibly a little bit further away than I'd have liked, but. It was good. The first shot was quite good. I think it did a lot of... Oh, blimey. Um, how do I get down here? I'm not going down that way. I guess I need to go back and go down all this slope around. Um, yeah, the first shot I think was pretty... pretty vital to me being able to bring him down. I've shot a moose as well in, um, in my... In my practice playthrough, well not practice, when I was doing the faithful cartographer but on an easier level, easier setting, I uh, I learnt that if you if you shoot a moose square on in the head when it's ducked down eating, I don't even know if that's uh, if we even meant to go down that way. I am entirely lost. I thought I knew Fallen Muskeg. This is an area I'm fairly unfamiliar with. <sighs> I suppose I could have been... I could collect... Uh, I could collect some um, wood and just cook up this meat quickly and eat, eat some meat. I might just go ahead and do that. It'll take an hour to cook it. Maybe the fog might clear by then. doesn't know I could get stuck out here in a blizzard. No, I'm not going to do that. The f oh god, I'm all the way back at the moose again. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh no, don't tell me I need rope to get down here. I do, I need rope. 
I need rope to get down this way. Well, ordinarily, I would uh, go and get rope. But I'm not going all the way back down there, so I am going to cheese this. I do apologise if this angers some of you. But I'm not going all the way back that way to get some rope. That would put a massive dent in my plans. I mean, this is risky. I could die from doing this. But, like I said, I'm not going back. Come on. Come on, Ashton. You can do this. Nice, 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 nice. Nice, we're down. Alright, so obviously I'm going to have to go back and map that again. Remind myself when I am at, uh, when I go return to Mystery Lake later. That is an area. I'm going to have to map most of this area. I did not realise, I did not realise that that was going to be an issue. Never mind. I don't consider that really cheese in the game anyway, it's like a risk reward type thing. So we're now at the lake. Um, I'm not sure where at the lake we are. This place is huge. The thing to be careful of here is thin ice. So I need to follow this around. I still need I think I'm heading in the right direction. I would prefer it if it wasn't so foggy, but we've got to do what we, uh, we've got to do whatever the saying is. I can't remember what the saying is. Put up with what we've got, basically. You can hear wolves. It's kind of disturbing. Listening to wolves when you're walking through fog like this. Um, I'm just glad the temperature's okay. I could, you know, like I could stop and um, try and try to uh, wait for the fog to clear, but then I run the risk of getting stuck in a blizzard, and that would be bad. I I know Muskeg well enough that. As long as I pick up the train tracks, which I'm pretty sure I am following roughly. Here, I think this is them here. Maybe not. But anyway, I know it roughly well enough that I can point myself in the right direction. Which, and in a minute you'll hear me swear because I've gone totally the wrong way. <laughs> Alright, so here's the train tracks. So that way is... Um, is uh, Mystery Lake, which we're not going to. I'm going to leave Mystery Lake for a little bit later on. This way is hopefully the broken up the railway. Um, can I get under here? Okay. Mm. Right, on. Ten minutes for seven sticks. So I won't take that though. Um, I will take this as well. Because one thing we can be, we would be able to do here is make a bow and some arrows. I'm not going to make the improvised hatchet and stuff. There's really no point in doing that. Uh, but the bow and arrow would be nice to have, especially if I don't find that many more bullets or anything. This might be a slightly longer episode, guys, because obviously I need to get to a, a building. If this fog is such as it is here, as it, if, if the fog is the same in um, Broken Railway, or Railroad, whatever you want to call it, as it is here, it's going to pose problems for me because, like I said, I'm not very familiar with the area. However, I do think that you go, that there is a factory or something you go down. If it's the same as the playthrough, the Winter Mute Story Mode, um, then I do know that there is a factory. So, so yes, maybe uh, I can go through there. I don't know if there's a bed in there or not, but it doesn't matter because I do have a 
bed. It's a shame that the fog was like it was because I couldn't really I couldn't really do any kind of mapping. Now this is going to be a little bit dodgy for me, like I said, I have vague recollections of this map and that is it. Time is okay. Still got some hours of daylight left. Now I don't know what type of I don't know if there's timber wolves here. I don't think there is. I hope there isn't. So timber wolf packs are where you get three wolves and they're a, they are of a grey colour rather than the black wolves and they have like a bar attached to them for their fear so usually if you kill one usually if you kill one the rest will run away however I've only really dealt with Timberwolf packs on uh, Winter Moot, the story mode I haven't ever dealt with them on survival mode so everything I just said could be absolutely Nonsense. I think down here, fog clearing, it appears like the fog's clearing a bit. The fog is clearing, this is good news. This means I'm going to be able to do a little bit of mapping now. And we'll do that, hopefully if I can get up on that bridge here. Um, then I can do the mapping. It was a shame that I couldn't do any of the, uh, so, I thought I've got two bits of the meat. Only got one, did I? Okay. 900 calories, so I've got to play it. So let's have a go, let's see how much we actually map. See, so the landslide popped up because I triggered the keyword. Well, I triggered the the, the um, pop up, if you like. Now, where that, where the um, factory is, I don't know. So, but really, anything that I find like a cave or anything that I can sleep in overnight very much appreciated. Now, if I recall, there are wolves on this lake. I'm not going to be pick picking up any more tactile stalks. Maybe, waiting. Maybe for the return journey. So I'm thinking maybe, maybe where I was, where the location I was in earlier, maybe that's where, I can't remember, is there a factory? Is that a wolf? Is that a deer? As long as it's not there. I think it's my own footsteps. It's so hard to hear anything when you're near a water. It really is. Okay, so, yeah, I'm currently totally lost. I'm thinking I'm not really meant to be going this way now. Again, though, like I said, I'm not overly concerned at the moment. I've been too lost. I've got plenty of food. 
you have plenty of Plenty of food. The only thing I am concerned about, obviously, is if a storm comes. Look at that, see? I just walked straight past those cattails and I didn't pick them up. <laughs> I think 38 at this point in time is plenty. Alright, so maybe I... Maybe I do need to go back then. Maybe I, need, maybe I went the wrong way. Oh no, I remember. You go across there, don't you? Yes, I remember now. I think the factory location is over there. If it is, that doesn't matter. We can scout around everywhere else first and then do that on the way out. Because I believe that this map is a dead end map. Um, even if it's not, I think it can only lead to Hush River Valley and that's certainly somewhere I'm not going to be going after this place. Yeah, this is, yes, I remember, we go to, uh, go to this here. Um, yeah, after this though, I have no idea where to go. Uh, obviously not that way, because you can't go that way. As long as I don't have to climb up any, um, Ropes. Apparently, I'm not going to be able to do that. I've only got one piece of wood as well to create a fire. Thankfully, the weather is being very, very kind to us. If I got caught in a blizzard now, I really would be screwed. I would be panicking. I can say I don't know this area that well. It's one kind of just pushing on at the moment, trying to find a cave of some sort, or some shelter of some sort, to stay in. I vaguely know where the house is, I vaguely know the layout of the map. Oh, here's some, here's some cables. I vaguely know the position of the map, but I'm not 100% of it. Much like most of the maps, to be honest. I vaguely remember this. I think this is, yes, this is the uh, logging station now. I don't know what it's called. I think you can climb back up that bit later. Um, let's go ahead and scout up here actually. to survey, just so I'm getting my bearings a little bit. Yeah, there we go, okay. So, uh, there is some log limbs there, some cedar limbs or fir limbs that I could cut if I need firewood. I think they're going to be okay though. This kind of looks like a, like a uh, cave right here. But it's not. <laughs> it really isn't. Alright, I can see up ahead crows. I think this is the right way. I think at the end of here is where you go down into the factory that wind is picking up. Um, which isn't good. Can I get down into this valley? Yeah. Okay, let's stick down here. Yes, that wind is picking up could be dangerous. Like I said, last thing I need is a blizzard. The blizzard really could end me right now. Oh, please don't tell me I've just walked all the way to a dead end. Have I just walked all the way to a dead end? Uh, I think I have. There's a fire down here. There's a maple sapling there. Another hatchet. If this is a 100% hatchet, I'm taking it. This. It's not better, I think, than the one I've got. What's that there? Any <laughs> Wow. There's a maple sapling there, which I am not going to collect. 
I need to drop a hatchet. Mm. Well, so I don't think it really matters. One extra kilo, I'm way over anyway. Here's the locomotion for a locomotive engine. Sorry, I thought I couldn't make it. Oh, no language. Nobody needs this One t shirt. Can I get in the locomotion? Nope. Not that way, at least, anyway. Certainly not that way. Okay, so. Not 100% sure if I've just walked myself to a dead end. Oh, I was meant to look at that, wasn't I? Locomotive engine. Last thing I need right now is a wolf, so I don't even know where the wolf is. Oh, yeah, that's right, it's for this one, isn't it? In the um, winter meet, I think you crawl through uh, space there. Oh, okay. Right. That was a wolf going after a rabbit. And now me. But it's okay, we're quite near the factory. This is the area that I thought I was at earlier. So, not to worry. I know right down there is another... Um, location as well, so... Yeah. I'm gonna drop that in a minute. Don't know whether that is the right thing to do or not. This stuff will come in handy. Some matches, can of spray which I'm gonna use. So I think I'm not gonna pick it up. Nothing in the back. Probably not very much. Come on, dude. Come on. Oh, there's two of them. Two of you, is there? Alright, well. One of them ran away. And one of them is still coming. Well, we'll go and check this locomotive out, and then that's all of our um, charcoal use. Of course it runs the way that I'm going. It doesn't make sense that they run that way. You'd think they'd run away from the fire and not through the fire. But they're so scared of. Never mind. It's going to be coming right back towards me in a moment. Gonna have to be aware of him later. But I'm very, very thankful for the weather holding out as long as it has been. Actually, let's come back. Because, oh, beef jerky, excellent. And nuts and stuff. Yeah, because that weather really could have been a lot nastier to us, and it hasn't been, it's been very, very pleasant. Okay, that's where I just came from, I've got a bit disoriented. I thought we could go in here. So he's going after the rabbit. And some crunchy stuff. Another pry bar. 
which is 100%, so we're going to take that and probably drop our other one later. out this last area, this last bit. There we go. Okay, and the wolf is back. It's okay. It's okay, we've got flares. We've also got plenty of matches to light with. Yeah, it's the broken bridge you can't cross. I was just hope, wondering um, if they've changed anything over here. It's a long time since I've been here. So, fog is coming in again, we're going to get down to that area of the... You are a very brave wolf, you are. Very brave wolf. A very frustrating wolf as well. And a greedy wolf, I mean, he just killed that rabbit up there. Right? He just killed a rabbit. And he's like, oh, I'm going to go and carry on chasing that human. Ooh, the bugger. There is a murder of crows here, so let's have a look at if this is a body or a deer. It is a body. And he has sticks. Wonderful sticks. What else does he have? Nothing. Oh, good. Give that up, will you, Wolf? Relentless. Right, that's where we're going to be going down. Right there. So, time to say goodbye to you, Mr. Wolf. Unless you follow me down here. Which you might well do. <laughs> and there's three, four wolves. I don't know how to deal with this. This might require me throwing some stones at them. silent again then. You know if I'm concentrating because I go very, very silent. And that got rid of him. And hopefully we can uh, just sit in here for a bit. Alright, so we're almost where we need to be but we are not quite where we need to be. I think I'm just going to go ahead and eat this energy bar. Save the rest for a bit. Well, let's see this one. Again. That weird noise that you're hearing is the freaking out of a wolf who is there. Um. Doors. How do you like doors, Wolf? <coughs> Apparently you don't care about doors. Did he run away? Okay, he ran away. He ran away. Did he run away far away? <coughs> no. Ha! I have smarted you again, you wily old fox. Why are we here? It's too many of them. All right, we're going to get to that warehouse, guys. Hopefully, and then we are going to call it there. He, where's the wolf going? 
Oh god, this is this is not good. I think it's time to load another flare. And get out of the vehicle. Not an area to settle down in here, I guess, because of the amount of wolves. It's actually worse than a Milton. Ah, how I'm missing that place already. Now one, two. A lot of buildings to go uh, and check out. While well, I've got this flare, let's do that. Because I don't think I'm going to be coming back this way until we're leaving the map. Uh, shut up. Shut up, you silly wolf. There we go. Take a bit of wood. Because we are going to be starting a fire. Oh, nice. Yeah, we are going to be having a fire. Oh, you were close, weren't you? Good boy. As you uh, glitch into the snow. Alright, let's get in here then if we can. Get in. I think these are both the same areas. Um, I know there's two entrances. So lots of wood in here. Oh. Slowing right down now, or am I just moving on that? This is leave shed, I don't want to leave the shed. We're gonna have a rummage around in here later after I've sorted myself out. Um, okay, so I think the other one is a different area then. So, let's go ahead and drop our um, guts quickly. No. Nope. Ah because I've got it organised by weight still. Scrap. You're not going to be able to carry this load for much and longer. Fresh and fresh inside. Let's take that off weight so I don't think that's a mistake again. We are going to rummage around in here in a bit. Um, nope. Oh, I just saw it. Okay. Let's go ahead and meet those immediately. 94% that's a good can of pork and beans alright um, while I've I thought that there was a door that led to I guess it's here right it, yeah this is this is what I thought I can't actually it's weird that that was open because it was it looked closed there yeah can you not close this door? No. Alright, so that's why it's a different transition zone there. Okay. So guys, we're going to leave the rummaging around. I'll just quickly check this room. And then we're going to leave the rummaging around for the next episode. That was a long, long episode. Well, it has been a long, long episode. Grapes. Wow, these wolves are um, pretty clever. They can see me through walls. I have heard of people being attacked through walls, so get too close. I don't want to become the latest victim of that scenario. <laughs> nice comfy bed there. Not oh, nice a can opener. That's only the second can opener I found, so that's pretty handy. Although I did fix the other one up to 100%, so I'm not, not that bothered about finding that really. But it's a nice find. It's a can, I'm going to play about it. It's good. Where does this take us? 
back into the factory. This is what I. This is what I. Oh, I went straight past it. That's right. Okay. So we're back in the maintenance shed, and we're going to go and drop some stuff off and have a sleep. And we are going to leave. the looking around here for another day. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. As always, if you have enjoyed this episode, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and the like button and notifications to get the latest updates for my videos. And we'll see you next time on Displays The Long Dark. Thank you very much for all your support, guys. Bye-bye.